Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three more items from Silke. Silke lives in Germany, but she took a trip recently to the Czech Republic, and she thought of us while she was there, and we really appreciate it. She, she, um, uh, said that she really enjoyed looking around and, and finding new things for us to try. So, um, I have, this is a um, collage trio. This is, a, there's three different kinds of um, chocolate in here. And then this is also chocolate. And I'll describe, I'll tell more about this when we get to it. Um, from Bern. That's the name of the city. And this was, this is uh, Marlinka's um, Miracle from Honey, Marlinka's Lemon Honey Nuggets. Okay. These so are made in the Czech Republic. I think this is going to be the <coughs> plainest item. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one first. Um, these, if you go, if you do a search um, for this name and chocolate, um, it comes up with the website where you can find these and um they are called uh they're called envelopes that's that's what this is called an envelope and um there are eight chocolates inside it's belgian milk chocolate and this is the name of the city so um i don't know if this specifically was where Silke was but they also offer uh, ones that say berlin london um paris prague L um, a bunch of other ones so i had a cheat sheet on the back uh, because when she sent this, we opened it, we took it out of the box. I had no idea what this even was. I knew it was going to be some kind of food, um, but I just didn't know what kind of food it would be. So, um, I'm assuming uh, this was from a souvenir shop uh, from the city where she was. And this is the kind of, of envelope you would get from a souvenir shop. I'm gonna tear it up too bad. There we go. Okay. So you open the envelope and there are the eight milk chocolates. Just like it said, from the city of Bern, I'm probably butchering that. And it looks on the inside, just that's the same picture that was on the outside. Well, that kind of comes with this little tray. It's like they've literally poured the chocolate into the little tray and then uh, just giving you the tray. And then you pop one out. Wonder if you can. I'll try. I have not had luck lately. You've been better off than I have. They all have, it looks like uh, they all have different. Um... There you go. That's what they look like. I know that. They all have uh, different amounts. Oh, yeah, this one's 20, and there's a, a one, a two, Okay, a 50. there's another 20, so let's eat a 20 so that we'll have one of each one. Mm, that's good. It's good chocolate. To me, it's just a, a normal milk chocolate. Yeah, that's what it is. It's just milk chocolate. It tastes like... Um, it's a good quality, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very nice milk chocolate. That would be, if we weren't doing the video, that would be a nice one to put in your mouth and suck on it for a while. You could make that last for a while because it's um, it's big. It's the size of a quarter mm -hmm. or a little bigger than a maybe quarter. Maybe a half dollar. Yeah, a half dollar, maybe. Um, but you could actually lay that on your tongue or take half a bite and suck on that and then uh, bite the other half. And uh, yeah. you could make that last for a yeah. while. And it's good. It's not overly sweet chocolate either. It's not like uh, a Hershey's or anything like that because Hershey's tend to be really sweet. And right. a lot of people think they're bitter if they're from other countries. Um, right, we've just gotten used to it. Yeah, we've gotten used to it. Yeah, that. we're used to it. Um, so just know when I take a picture at the end, there will be one missing, but it was the same. It says 20, just like another one on here. I'm assuming that's the monetary amount, right? I would think so. You get two of each. You get two twos, two ones. Yeah, two euros. Ones, two like one euro, 20. Yeah, two yeah, euros, yeah I'm assuming euros. it's, it, yeah. Okay, now this one, I have a cheat sheet on the back. Uh, you can start opening it. I don't think this one's gonna be as bad. We have three different kinds of chocolate in this one package. Um, it's supposed to be 
dark chocolate with strawberries and pepper. I'm assuming this one. Milk chocolate with cranberries and coconut. This one. And white chocolate with cherry pieces and poppy. That's how I've uh, yeah. translated it. I can see the poppy seeds all through there. Um, okay. What was, the, what was the milk chocolate with cherries? The milk middle? chocolate with cranberries, cranberries and coconut. coconut. Okay, I was wondering what the white flakes You want to try it first? I don't care which one I try first. Um, the bottom has like stuff on it. The top is just regular, looks like a regular chocolate bar. So you want to try the coconut one and the sure. cranberry? Yeah, it's the, it's the milk chocolate one with cranberries and coconut. If we can hold it up b without it going everywhere, pieces going everywhere, we will. If not, then I'll have a picture for you at the end. Um, I think I can hold it. Yeah, up. you can hold that up. I'm just gonna show you the bottom because the the back, like I said, the top actually is just a regular candy bar. There you go. Pretty thin. That's the bottom. And I think we can try. I get the coconut. I mainly get coconut. The cranberries are there. Yeah, they're kind of light. But they're the very light. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. And you got a big cranberry. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty good. And it's good. It's smooth milk chocolate. Very smooth. Which one do I try next? Um, let's do the white. The white, white with chocolate cherry. with cherry pieces and poppy. I'm looking forward to this one. This one out of the three sounded like it would be my favorite, but who knows? I'm usually wrong. I'm usually surprised. This one stayed pretty much intact. I did have one corner that broke, but. There you go. You can see all the poppy seeds in there. I mostly got the white chocolate from mm -hmm. that one. That's what I was going to try. A little bit of the poppy seed. That don't taste the cherries at all. I agree. That, for me, that was just white chocolate. I get the texture of the poppy seed, but I don't get a lot of flavor of it. But I'll tell you, it's good milk chocolate. It is very creamy. It surprises me that it is as sweet as it is. Because usually, the white chocolate we've tasted from overseas is not that sweet. And that's a little bit more like an American white chocolate. I think that was very good. Oh. Now this last one is dark chocolate with strawberries and pepper. It really looks like white pepper on there, or pepper flakes. It, it sure all does, is which pepper. is gonna be different. I do not want that one big hunk of cherries, or strawberries, I mean. There's one that's very, very dense with uh, strawberries. Has it packed in? Definitely has that crisp of a dark chocolate. Get the pepper. Definitely get the pepper. They don't taste strawberry at all. No. I get the texture of the strawberry, but what you're tasting the there, and for some reason, I don't know why, but it's not bad at all. You wouldn't think it would go together at all, but it kind of does. The black pepper and the um, dark chocolate. And the dark chocolate. But I bet Andrew would really like that. He might. I don't know. It's, it's a different flavor, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. uh. My favorite out of those was the white chocolate. Uh, I Just like because the it tasted like white chocolate. You like the milk chocolate? Yeah, I like the milk chocolate one with the coconut. Oh. Not because of the coconut, but just because of the um, the flavoring of it. Right. It better. Now this is a, um, Marlinka lemon honey nuggets, um, and this is nice. This is how it comes when you open it. I like how it's got this big long description. Not that we can read it yet. Oh yeah, in 17 here you can open it. It's got a plastic package, so 
it does have an English um, thing. In 1704, the American, some funky name, um, Damascus, found, um, founded the Czech coffee lounge named Uzolo, Holo in Prague. He thought he was going to write that. And, uh, 300 years later, in 2003, the um, Armenian somebody and his sister established a Czech company, Miko. Or just all Amer uh, Armenian family recipes. It was in, in 1704, the Armenian, not the American. Wow, that was pretty cool. Marlenka has become a traditional sweet delicacy in every Czech family in Armenia. Marlenka is called Honey Miracle. You too can enjoy the unique taste of Marlenka products. That looks like it's a mess. I'll, I'll tilt the camera down and show it instead of me holding them up, them up to the camera. Because I don't think I'd ever get him up there and not make a mess. And we will try to a uh, half one for you and see if he can hold it up. You can uh, smell the lemon in there. Yes, you can. Because it uh, it it's soft. Oh, oh yeah. Cool. Let me have this piece. Yeah, they're like uh, cake. It looks like a filled cake ball. You just want to try that? Yeah. That has a unique flavor. Mmm. I like that. The texture is like something that's not quite done yet. It's very good. Like a cookie that's uh, that's baking, but it's not quite baked mm -hmm. yet. It's kind of got that texture. That lemon, that whatever that center is, is really good. That's very good. And I it's love... not super lemony either. No. It's not like a, a cleaning lemon, like a pledge lemon, like Andrew says. Um, that's nice. And now that is a very nice fresh lemon. 94 calories per... 94 calories per nugget. nugget. Yeah, a nugget. Um, it's interesting that their nutritional facts are looking more like American They're American facts. nutritional facts. That's and, weird. Yeah, everything on the box is foreign and then you get the American nutrition facts. They do have a website, www.marlenka.cz. Or Facebook page, Marlenka Official. Yeah. That, those are really those are good. Really I like those and they're very different. That texture is a little strange mm -hmm. at first. And it's got these little tabs. I like this. They, they got a little tab. You can pull these back up. Mm -hmm. You can pull these up and stick in there and reseal the box. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Cool. And I got pushed them in all the way. Unless they were supposed to do it in the first place, anyway. Well, out of everything you tried, <laughs> what did you like the most? Probably the lemon things, honestly. Those, the Marlenka things were probably the I best. probably did too, yeah. yeah. Because the milk chocolate was excellent, but it was just milk chocolate. You know, there was nothing like, like uh, outrageous about it or anything like that. But the lemon, and I do love that white chocolate, but the, the lemon was just so different. Um, and it's just, it's, it's like somebody's formed a little ball and put lemon in the middle and you're just popping it in your mouth. It's like it wasn't even cooked. Right. Um, so that was really good and unusual. So thank you very much, Silke. Um, I will take a picture and put it at the end. And uh, as always, we appreciate it if you like the video and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Um, it means a lot to us. And uh, so I hope everyone has a great day and thanks for watching.